Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how to do a multi-state jump. There are some tutorials online how to do jumps for platformer games, but usually the jump animation is just one frame and looks quite bland. Right here, you can see a more complicated jump animation that brings it more life. This is my game, by the way. Uh, Devlog is in the description. Usually for jumps, I split it up into four stages. The first is the jump off animation. The second is the jump loop animation. The third is the fall down animation. And the fourth is the fall loop animation. Here in Ace Sprite, I got a simple character sprite sheet with walking and idle animations. And for the jump, I got two animations, the jump off animation and the fall down animation. They are quite simple and are four frames each. Now in Godot, I'll quickly create a scene and a temporary map and also a player scene. I'll try to speed through this stuff to save you from some pain. I'll add the sprite sheet that we we're just looking at to the player sprite and also add a collision shape to the player node. I'll add the player to the map scene and try running it. Cool, we got the player on the screen. Now let's make it move. To do that, I'll add a script to the player node. And here's the code to make the player move left and right. There are several tutorials out there about player movements, so I suggest you check them out if you're confused. Or leave a comment and I'll try helping you out. Let's try running this. And yeah, our player moves, but no animations. To change that, let's add an animation player to the player node. I'll add a new animation called idle left, set the total time to be 0.8 seconds for the 8 frames, and I'll also set it to be looping. And then I'll key each of the idle left frames from the sprite sheet. I'll duplicate this animation and rename it to idle right and do the same steps but for the idle right frames in the sprite sheet. And then I'll add the walking animations. Once that's done, let's add an animation tree to the player node as well. Animation tree allows us to essentially create a flow chart on how animations are supposed to be played, rather than using long code to do the logic. First, I'll assign the correct animation player, and then in the tree root property, I'll create a new animation node state machine. In the animation tree window at the bottom of the screen, we can now add some animation states. Now, since I have animations in only the left and right directions, I can use blend space 1D since 1D refers to just the X direction. If you have a top down game with four directions, you would be using blend space 2D, which allows you to blend animations in four directions. So I'll create a blend space 1D within the animation tree and rename it to idle. Then let's click the pencil icon to edit it. Click the mouse icon and then on the left hand side of the graph, right click and then add the idle left animation. And then on the right hand side, add the idle right animation. Now the idle left corresponds to the value of negative one and the idle right corresponds to a value of positive one. What's great about this is all we have to do is set the blend position, which is a value between negative one and one. And if we play the idle state animation, it'll correctly select which direction to play depending on the set value. This way we don't have to do code like if the player is facing left, play idle left and so on. I'll quickly do the same for the walking animation. Now, since this is an animation tree, we gotta connect it somehow and add some branches. And branches refer to how animations can transition. So since we wanna be able to go from idle to walking and also vice versa, let's add two branches back and forth between the two states. Oh, and let's make sure we give a start to our tree. I'll make the idle animation the starting state of the animation tree. Now in the player script, let's add some code to animate our player using the animation tree we just set. Here's the code to animate the idle and walking positions accordingly. As you can see, I set the player's input to the blend space 1D values of the animation states. Then we just play idle or walking and the correct left or right animation will play. Now if we start the game, we can move left and right with the animations. Sweet. In the map scene, let's add a ground so we can have a floor to jump off of. I'll add a static body and add a sprite and a collision shape, which will work for a quick and easy ground. Now in the animation player, let's add the jump animations. 
There will be four animations for each direction, jump off, jump loop, fall down, and fall loop. For the loop animations, I'll just reuse the last frames of the jump off and fall down animations. Make sure to set the jump loop and the fall loop to be looping but not the other two animations. So we will have a total of 8 animations, 4 for each direction. Now let's add jumping to the animation tree. We're going to add 4 blend space 1Ds to correspond to each of the animations. To connect the states, let's start from going from idle or walk to the jump off state. The jump state should then transition to the jump loop state. However, the transition between them should not be immediate. We want the jump off animation to first complete and then automatically go to the jump loop state. We can do this by changing the switch mode to at end and also enabling auto advance. Let's add a transition between the jump loop state and the fall state, and another transition between the fall and the fall loop state. This transition will also be at end and also auto advancing, and fall loop will transition back to the idle state. And let's not forget to set the animations within the blend spaces as well. Here's the code for the player script now incorporating the jumping. When the velocity in the y direction is less than zero, it means that the player is going up. So we want the animation tree to travel to the jump loop state. If the velocity in the y direction is greater than zero, it means that the player is going down and we travel to the fall loop state. And with that, we have a more lifelike jumping animation. Well, I hope you learned something. And I also heard a rumor that you are going to like and subscribe. Take care.